Hey guys, number 13 here and Chris the Yeti back again. This time we're going to be looking at. Pull it right up there. That's good. Should focus. Another one from Dale, Brew by Me. Big, big thanks, Dale. You guys go check out his channel, Brew by Me, on YouTube TVs. And this one is. This one's a scary one. <laughs> Not usually my <laughs> cup of tea, but I'm kind of stoked to try it. Screaming Beaver. Oak Age Double I Oak, Oak Age Double IPA. Now, Oak Age is in they do put them in oak barrels for a set amount of time. This one's 9.9% .9 alcohol by volume. Extra strong ale. This is Wild Oat Series number three. Uh, let's see, local spring water, organic barley malts, organic hops, and brewer's yeast. Yeah, what's this one say? Oh, this one's just got the tractor on it. Tractors. Oh yeah, tractors are great. Tractors. Oh. <laughs> and seeing the 3D thing is the only thing po a lot popular with the Canadian beer tubers. Anyways. I sure will. Back with the BB Barfly again. Sweet. He's like, worried about this camera. I can't tell if it's pointed at us or you know what, but you feel like it should go like this. But really we can go like this. We can. Alright. Yeah, you can open it that way too. Beauty, eh? Hey. And the bugs are getting bad as hell out here. Absolutely. Anyways. Give this one a pour. Oh, yep. IPA. Oh, my. IPA. It's almost like bloody piss. Great looking head Actually, on Actually, it almost looks like coffee. Don't smell it yet. Alright, I won't smell it. I'm standing in an anthill. No, j rocks them all. I like that. That's a nice color. Oh, chunks. Chunks? We have flotationers. Sweet. Oh my. Well, the head looks good. The head looks better on that one. Ooh. Well, then again, you're splitting a beer between two small cups, too, so. Yeah. Anyways. Alrighty. So. Nice looking head. Very dark. It's it is. A, it's very, it's a, like a rich color, though. You can almost see through it. Yeah. See, I don't know. It's like a dark, mahogany, light mahogany color. It is. I like it. Yeah. It's a nice color. Take a sniff. Let's take a sniff. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yep, there's that pungent IPA that I dislike so much. Ooh. A little bit oaky. Now this one's I think this one's a little over six months old, so I think that some of the hops may have died off in it. But geez, there's a very strange smell. Very there. hoppy smell. It's almost uh well, it's yeasty. Yep. Easty. Mm, reminds me of the uh, Moosehead Breweries when we were kids driving past when the big tanks were overflowing, all the yeast. It does like that. Excellent. Cheers, Moosehead, then. I don't know, there's something, something in there. It might be a little bit woody because it just said oak age, but. Yeah, I can see where you're getting out of that. I don't know. Cheers, it's crazy taste. Let's get worse. Mm hmm. Yeah. Holy. There's the wood. Oh. Wow. Yes, sir. Actually, you know what? That's better than that uh, India Pale Ale that you had uh, got me to try there uh, New Year's. What was that? It was really clear. It wasn't anywhere near this. It was very, it was almost uh, clear like a lager almost, but it was an IPA. I don't know what it was. I know. You had just begun doing beer reviews, but well, this one tastes a lot better. Wow, that's interesting. It's full. Definitely full body. No doubt about that. And it's 10%. Mmm. Get yourself wrecked on that, but. You're not getting too much alcohol off. The alcohol. <laughs> a little bit of it. A little bit of alcohol taste there, but. Getting the uh, the really like that, the same feeling I get after drinking grapefruit juice. That, that tart. It's tart. Yeah, there is tart. There is definitely tart. So that's whatever hops it's tarty. are. tarty. Now, I can't imagine what this would taste like when it was brand new. Like I said, six, six months, over six months old, but... Oh, I'm getting tingly lips from the bitterness. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. And the black flies. Picking my bones, I.O. An old Ontario I.O. I.O. Anyways, yeah, this is a... Oh. You're definitely getting the bitterness, like the uh, 
tingling from the bitterness on your on the lips, that's for sure. You getting that? Yeah, 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 right on the inside of my lips. If I drank it with my lips inside out. That'd be weird. It would be. Yeah, but there's definitely, yeah, uh, there's definitely citrus notes there. It's one of the better IPAs that I've ever had. There's a slight, like, uh, almost a creamy. Creamy, like, like, there's a little bit of, I'm getting a little caramel or a, or brown sugar or something like that off of it. Mm, hold on. Well, you, whatever you taste, you taste, right? Mmm. Almost like a maple. Like a maple, like yes. a syrup. Yes, there is a little bit of maple, like that kind of flavor in there. Probably from the oak. Ooh, that is really different. That is good. It's definitely a... For an IPA. Like I said, I'm not a big mm. fan of IPAs, but... No, me neither, but... I'm also new to these uh, whole crafter beers, too, so... Yeah. I'm trying to get my brother here into some craft beer. And he's succeeding. Cheers. Ooh, geez, that is different. You be careful with that, though. That'd catch up to you pretty quick. Yeah, one bottle of this. And good thing it's for sharing. That's a 10 percenter. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like double IPAs and like uh, Imperial Stouts or anything like double. Usually they're like double the alcohol, so they're stronger than hell. Yeah. That's a really, that's a, that's a good beer to have a... If you want to sit down and have a nice, like a, like if you like IPAs, yeah, that's a really good kick in the back of the mouth IPA. Yeah. It's a tongue number. Tongue number. Num tonguer. That's definitely a sipper and a share for sure. Absolutely. Cheers. All right. I don't know what a, for rating on this one. I don't know. It's kind of freaking me out. Because you kind of like it, but you kind of don't. Yeah, I kind of like, but I kind of don't. But I'm giving really. it a three point seven. 3.75? 3.75. Stick to the fucking point system. Point system. Don't go out the point system. 3.75. There you go. Anyways, this one, yeah, I don't know. I'll go, I'll go with Chris here. I'll go 3.75. It's just interesting enough. And different enough that, yeah, I'd say, yeah. It's I'll worth go. a try. If you're in Ontario, you get it in Ontario, then or give it a try. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you can get it, try it. And huge thanks, Dale. Appreciate it, brother. And, yeah, that's it for this, this, this one, and uh, we may or may not be back because we're losing our light here. Anyways, see you guys in a bit. Cheers. Cheers.